So we're back again with now another NBA 2K20 My Team pack opening and it's been a while since I've actually played My Team which does sound kind of weird but it's because I've been playing a lot of Park recently and that's what my last video was on and I am planning on posting it a little bit more but as for this video we're going to be opening up these Tim Duncan packs the Prime Edition or the Prime Series I should say because it does have a 97 overall pink diamond but to be honest I think the diamonds are better because we've got a Paul George and also a John Wall I thought Paul George could play shooting guard maybe he can't or maybe that just doesn't show both positions let's have a look yeah so Paul George can play shooting guard which would be absolutely insane if we're able to get this card and run what a six foot nine shooting guard I need him and speaking of shooting guards when we have a look at my team I did actually get pink diamond clay I spent so much MT on that set but I also got Durant and obviously Peja so the team's looking very nice but clay Tim Duncan and John Wall would definitely be good additions but I only have 19,000 MT which isn't really good at all so we're gonna go into a 10 pack box I have heard these packs are actually pretty good so a 10 pack box maybe we'll be able to get something good out of this and maybe we'll be able to get that pink diamond glow we've pulled two pink diamonds so far this year not looking good so far i mean it's the first pack angus you can't really expect much off the first one that's not great but it's all right as i said i really have been playing park a lot so i haven't really touched my team like i think the last my team game i played was like oh maybe like two weeks ago and now i've just been playing park like crazy so going into this box hasn't looked great so far but yeah if you guys are wondering i'm a 94 overall glass cleaning lockdown so we're looking pretty nice right now and if you do want to play with me make sure to hit me up on twitter and just remember that i'll probably just play with people from australia or new zealand in those servers because it is really hard to try and do it lag wise for others as we get our first prime player being tiago splitter so yeah it's definitely been a while since i've sat down and recorded a video but here we are with the sapphire here that's mike conley so this box i mean yeah it, it really wasn't good at all mike conley again wow but as for our next box we're gonna do a 20 but you guys know what time it is it's headband time so let's put this baby on make sure she's straight make sure she's looking great and yes it is and now you can call me mate we'll open up this box and make sure to get this tim duncan because you know i'm okay the only word i could think of that might have rhymed was a swear word we're not gonna say that anyway pack number two of this box still not looking great we've only pulled one ruby we've only pulled one card from the set but i mean it's all right it's all right everything can change as we do get an amethyst there and it is going to be an amethyst from the collection i can't even remember who these are i think it's bruce bowen yeah it is bruce bowen definitely a good card he has like a 91 three we get update required so we'll go do that oh no it could be d rob too okay it's bruce bowen yeah so d rob is another one of the amethysts these cards that are in this are actually extremely good like not even just counting my man okay all right there we go the headband luck baby our first diamond please be paces paces it is we just got paul george the player i wanted exactly that paul george number 13 24 or 13 yep 13 i love this man we needed him on the team i just can't believe he's able to play shooting guard and he's six foot nine that's crazy absolutely crazy these packs are looking good in the 20s right now if we're able to get that pink diamond though it'll be popping and then then i just got to talk about my headband for the rest of the year oh my but anyway we're now halfway through this box so we still have quite a bit to go and it's definitely looked very definitely looked that doesn't really make sense that's not english definitely been looking very good so far but if we can just get you know one more pull you know what i'm saying we can do it we can do it i believe carl kuzma in that one making his return soon maybe we're making our return to getting a good pack lock because if you guys don't know last time they brought out those clay thompson packs where he was the set reward what was it like the shooters pack Packs? I don't even I forgot what the lights out there we go I opened 550k VC my best pull was a ruby and I just didn't even post it I did tweet about it saying like yes I do get bad packs but usually when I get trash packs like that I just don't post the video because I don't find it entertaining at all so that's the reason why you guys don't really see bad pack openings from me is because I just delete them which probably isn't a great idea but this this box definitely went downhill after that Paul George not bad though thank you headband for giving me the lock and we did just have to do an update required there so that's done and now we're able to just go into another box just straight away the 20 last time definitely wasn't too bad because we got a diamond Paul George which could quite but quite possibly be the best card in the set so I'm not complaining good start so far as for the 20s that is as we got Draymond in that one we got him last box as well D'Lo just getting all the Warriors that are actually playing 
I'm sorry, Steph. Bro, I feel like my commentary is so bad right now, but I don't know. That might just be me. Maybe it's because I'm somewhat tired, but anyway, we'll see how we go. It is uh, 3 a.m. right now, but we're on that grind to try and bring out some videos and some content of my team for you guys. Draymond Green again. What? Every time we get a Sapphire, we just know it's from the Warriors. Maybe they're trying to tell me something that we're about to get Tim Duncan because... I don't know. What's a reference I can make with Tim Duncan and the Warriors? I've got no idea. But anyway, that's what you call great content, great commentary, and that's why I'm a YouTuber. Anyway, we get an emerald here, and number 11, one of my favorite numbers, probably my favorite number actually, Victor Oladipo. That's a pacer, so maybe we might get another Paul George. Okay, all right, that's fine. I mean, it hasn't looked bad, it hasn't looked great. Yeah, we're getting so many Warriors players, it's actually insane. Just hit me up with one more good pull. Please, 2K, and I'll be happy. We've pulled an Amethyst, we've pulled a Diamond, we've pulled every card tier. All I need is that pink Diamond. So it's time. Pack number 18, and it's a no-no. What about 19? Can we get better than all bronze? Yes, we get two Sapphires, and... Draymond Green again. I don't know what they're doing, 2K. I don't know what you're doing. You're probably just laughing at me right now. Tiago Splitter here. I knew it. All right, I'm going to hop into one more 10-pack box, and then we're going to end it off with singles, because we've only got enough to be able to do that. But I don't know. For some reason, I feel like this tether is about to be good. So Tim Duncan, Mr. Fundamentals. There's a great start. Straight off with an Amethyst, and it's going to be Bruce Bowen, because you can sort of see that star when it, when it flips. So that means it just has to be that evolution player. So Bruce Bowen, once again, Probably better than D-Rob, I reckon, just because he is an evolution and will go up to a diamond, I'm pretty sure. And will probably be insane. I definitely want to check that. So what a start to this box. Can we make it even better? Okay, Thiago Splitter, once again. Already knew it. I'm just guessing all these players. This time, Tim Duncan. No way! What? Okay, that might be one of the coolest things that has happened in a pack opening for me. I literally just called all three of the players Tim Duncan, Pink Diamond. Welcome to the squad, baby. There you are, Mr. Fundamentals. What a box. I told you guys it was about to be good. It certainly was. I, I love it. My, my highest overall pull, 97 overall Tim Duncan. Just like that, the packs were good. The packs were good. Can we get something even better here? Okay. We get we get it. We get a bronze, but that box was insane. I tell you what, 2K, I'll do another 10 pack box if we're able to get a diamond or higher in this box. So I don't think we will, but you could just gotta stick to the word. Man, I, I I actually can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. Tiago split, I told you. Every time you get a ruby, you know who it is. It's Tiago Splitter. Draymond Green. Four close. Close because Draymond Green's just always the player. Final pack of this fire box. Zion, the man. So now we've still got quite a few singles to go through. We've still got 50k VC. I mean, right now, I can't really ask for much more. I would like John Wall, but I don't really need him. I mean, D-Rob would be nice too, just if we're able to get every single one of the players. But to be honest, I don't really mind what we get in the rest of this because it was fire. And finally, I can make my return into my team in style because we will actually have these players for the 12 and 0 run because there is a new player of the month and that player is Pink Diamond Baron Davis. So I'm very excited to hopefully be able to use that card and hopefully get a couple of dubs with these new players on the squad. We're not getting anything in these singles so far. And we've only got two more to go. One more after this one, I think. Wait, yeah, I think that's a mass, right? So, can we do something good? Tiago Splitter, done dusted. So the final pack with VC of this fire pack opening. I'm very happy that I was able to do this in you know, a bit of a, a bit of a comeback pack opening from my last one that was so bad. And to end it off, it's not a kills mode pack opening if we don't do a pack with MT. So 10,500 MT. What are we going to get in the final pack of the pack opening? We are going to end off, don't this dare be Draymond Green. Don't it dare be Draymond Green. Okay, it's Blake Griffin. I'm happy with that. First things first, Bruce Bowen's evolution looks pretty hard. But I mean, it's not bad. Like, to put him to a diamond, he does get, whoa, whoa. He gets Hall of Fame quick draw. And then obviously we were also able to pull this Tim Duncan. So I'm very excited to be able to use this card because he does have 12 Hall of Fame badges. And obviously it's Tim Duncan. He'll have some pretty good stats. He has an 83 ball, which is extremely good. Great dunking, 96 block, 80 speed, which is also very nice. And then great defense and he's six foot 11. But the man I'm super excited for is this Paul George because I can run him as shooting guard. He comes with four Hall of Fame badges too, including Showtime, Fast Break Finisher, Pogo Stick and Chase Down Artist. But then 
30 gold badges and he does have range extender and quick draw. And let's actually test out his release real quick. So first thing, I want to try out Tim Duncan's release. Let's see if it's pretty quick. I mean, that's not bad. Definitely not bad at all. It's actually pretty quick. I'm happy with his release. I didn't expect it to be that fast. And it's an easy release to time too. I actually really like his release. Okay, Tim Duncan, a dub. But how about Diamond Paul George? Wow, that is fast. Definitely his best release he's ever had in 2K. Bro, that was such a bad release I just got, and it was a green light anyway. Wow, this card, this card's about to be very good. I want to record a gameplay with this man ASAP, because obviously he can do that, and obviously he can do that. So yes, definitely a very good pack opening, because we were able to get Tim Duncan and also Paul George. The only player we weren't able to pull was David Robinson and also John Wall, but I'm guessing John Wall isn't going to go for over 100K, just because this card is super similar to a lot of point guys in the game right now. The one thing I really do like about him though is he's six foot four. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go on a run to try and get this Baron Davis for you guys. So hopefully that will be fun. With this team, it should be lots of fun for sure. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Let me know down below if you want to see more park content because I'm finding it so much fun this year. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Do what I said before and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.